welcome back to Super Hostile Delania. Here's our new fancy base. It's got chests, other things, a hippogriff. And it's got the hippogriff because the location is up here. Right next to the sign down to the frozen halls. And it is up here for one reason. When I ended last episode and said I was going to build our base down here, right over there, I did not appreciate precisely how many spawners were just all over this place. And it was a huge problem. Night fell, and then all the monsters started to fall. I'm fairly confident there's a large amount of spawners, like, all around this wall here. Which is not ideal for me, of course. So first thing we're going to do is block up all this area so nothing can fall into here. And then we're going to light it up a little bit to help discourage spawning on top of my head. We might need more blocks for this. Luckily, we can easily get as many blocks as we want. Because we have a pickaxe that's really good. Okay, let's... I'm not exactly sure where the spawners are that were causing us all these problems. And there are probably going to be more places for things to fall over this direction anyways, but... This will at least help make this initial room less insane. Now if things spawn on top of here, that doesn't really matter because they can't get inside. In theory. Let's see, we're out of... Out of cobstone. So we will mine some cobstone. Also probably going to want some blocks for later in the dungeon, so. It's all in all a pretty good idea. Here's some wood. That's part of the dungeon. Or it's buried wood. Could be. It's probably part of the dungeon, though. You ran a bits of water. You have to be careful with torches and the ice. I think some of this ice is ice that doesn't care about torches, but... I don't know. I don't know for sure. All I know is that there's some water over there. And if I can avoid everything flooding, that'd be... That'd be, per, that'd be preferable, of course. Okay, let's... Finish this up. Mine down on this pillar. Get some blocks back. And we can go around the edges here and light it up a little bit, I suppose. That'll probably help. I mean, it can't hurt. The goal here is to stop things from spawning. So, lighting up the ceiling is probably beneficial for us. Yeah, I tried to light up around the edge here and light up the floor here. But monsters just keep happening, so. Here's where an explosion happened. Uh, 
Here's where a zombie happened. And this is a zombie three. And based on the color theory, I'm going to assume this is the blue dungeon. So that's that's pretty high up there, as far as dungeon numbers are concerned. All right, this corner is the dark corner. So let's add some lights over here. Nothing seems to be spawning really. Oh, is it choke? I don't think so. I don't think so. That's two zombies that have been in here. I want to figure out if that is a spawner somewhere. Well, that's about as good as we're going to get. Let us continue on to the dungeon. Also, you can see that we have taken out our starter kit stuff from the backpack. For more inventory space. So now if we want to return, just now go through that door. No holes in the ceiling. Looks good. Alright. Here's the place we tried to make the base. Didn't work out. Enjoyably, we can just jump up here on top of here. That's a huge plus. Ooh, a treasure slime. The treasure was slime. Skeleton 3. Spider 3. Tanky Zombie 3. Regular Goblin Guy. Okay. I think attacking from above is probably a good choice. Things here are slightly lit, but not completely. And if things can spawn from on these ledges, I've seen the stuff up here before. Holy, we're fighting for our lives trying to not have everything spawn on top of us. Right, let's see if we can clear out this room. I really still. Creeper 3, my arch enemy. Bet there is spawners in this middle thing. And it's made of a lapis. That's cool. Oh, there's a ladder in here. Well, that's very interesting. I don't know what to make of that. Like a secret shortcut or something? Not secret anymore. Found it. That's a lot of lapis, though. Wish you were made of emeralds. That'd be more useful. I guess we just have to find the green dungeon. That would solve that problem. Presumably. Okay, so now the question becomes... Do we take... What looks like a secret shortcut... Or do we go through the dungeon regularly? Look at this weird face. Where do you reckon this goes? Goes down to darkness. Oh, it's the dojo. Okay. Now well, let's head down here. Oh boy, it's Spider 3. Oh, it's water. Ugh, that's... That's fun. That's gonna make lighting this up really difficult. Oh. Let's just light up the perimeter here. Hello, creep. I think I can see through into different parts of the dungeon, too. This is a very interesting location. Okay. 
It's in a lot of torches. Regular creeper. Alright. Looks like the bottom row needs some lights on it, too. We still haven't even looked to see what's actually in. Ah, skeleton's falling. There's a spawn right there. Well, let's go take care of that shit. What's on the... Oh, there's all sorts of stuff coming out of there. So around this level is where all the problems are. Our complete resistance to knockback is going to be super beneficial for us. Spawner, here's a spawner. We could probably get away with not making this entire area completely safe. That'd probably be fine. Oh, creeper three. Ah, fast creeper. Here comes, here comes all the enemies. Everything's so quick. Definitely makes things more threatening when they're super fast. Makes it difficult for them to. Makes it difficult for you to get a bearing on where they're attacking you from. A light wither skeleton three. Generally not what you want. This might be the way and you're supposed to find the dojo. So we'll leave this for now. Get some water. Got another wither bone. That's good. Yeah, it looks like there's a lot of places where you can kind of see through into other parts of the dungeon. That's pretty interesting. Most part, this looks okay. Took care of that spawner. Took care of that area. Fast zombies are not too worried, not too bad. They can't move much because they're in the water. Alright, we figure this figure this area out yet. Like some of these are ice and some of these are not ice. Alright. I think we can work with this now. 
Special Snowflake Dojo. Perhaps Snow. A full stack of the blood of all life. So... Water? I would assume. I don't think there's any blood. Oh, there's dragon blood. That's, you can't make a s stack of dragon blood. And I think this also has to be vanilla, so I'm thinking probably ice. Of some description. Hmm. We might need silk touch for that. I'll have silk touch. It doesn't seem like most of these are dropping ice cubes either. Might, and also might be a special kind of ice. Hmm. Hum, 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 hum. Stack of snowballs. The iron dungeon gave us the items we needed for the dungeon in the dungeon. So, is it snowballs? Negatory. Alright. Okay, for ice, we've got ice, packed ice, blue ice, and dragon ice, but probably not that. Blue ice is just packed ice. Packed ice is ice. Ice is ice cubes. Just need to get some ice cubes. I think we have some of those back in base, maybe. Can you give me ice cubes? Wrong kind of ice. This, this one just gives water. Ice, packed ice, blue ice. So are these two different kinds of ice we have here. Yeah, this looks like packed ice, and this looks like ice. So presumably one of these should be giving me ice cubes. Yeah, that one give me ice cubes, okay. But then this is packed ice and doesn't give ice cubes, question mark. Oh, is there a ton of diamonds down here? What is this place? We've got water breathing, but we don't have aqua affinity. Unfortunate. Look at this diamond place. Can we turn off the wire. a big crazy diamond place. We're really close to bedrock too. Alright, big crazy diamond place. Cool. Very neat. Is this ice packed ice? This looks like regular ice. Yeah, there's ice cubes. Okay. Let's break some of this ice. A whole bunch of ice cubes. Now it might be ice cubes and we'll be done here. Can't jump in the water. That light here. We got a full stack of ice cubes. I guess we can make an ice. If it takes one ice, we'll know it's 64 ice. 
Okay, 64 ice. Fantastic. Do we just need four stacks of ice cubes? That would be good. Let us head down here. Into the magical ice factory. Four sacks of ice cubes in here, no problem. That's two and a half. Nope. Three and a half. Fifty-four. Sixty-one. Sixty-two. There we go. Ice. 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 Stack of ice. there's been back. As I say, if there's just a hole to the void, that's pretty spooky. But so far, that has not seemed to be the case. I wouldn't put it past him. So. Alright, stack of ice. Here. Here you go. Icy, icy dojo. A charm of snow. Chris of Vanishing, an, ar an army of th thorny snowman awaits. Right offhand, 20 max health and 3 armor. An army of snowmen. Frozen protector. Oh, don't go in the water. That's not good for you. We just constantly summon snowmen. Also has more max health. I don't know how beneficial an army of snowman's gonna be. You're a wacky fellow. Alright. Let us head back to the dungeon. I, I don't know if I want this, honestly. Let me find an enemy for my snowman to attack. Go, snowman, go! They got thorns. That's something. What are we missing out on? Speed, knockback resistance, we already have. Let's see how they do against an actual. Oh, is it really slow? No, we're just slower and it feels slow. Okay. Here, have some real enemies. Going to aggro creepers, aren't they? Yeah, let's 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 say goodbye to the army of aggro snowmen. They're very silly, and they're a detriment if you're not you're an invisible spider somewhere. You're an invisible skeleton. I saw you spawn up here. Wow, look at that. My goodness. The inventory is getting full. The torch count is getting low. But I think we might have found where the spawners are. See if we can replicate that anyway. That one spawned where there were blocks of wood. Seems to be the only place with that though. Behind here. No.
Gonna need more information to make a full assessment of this. All right, now our inventory is full, so we're going to take a nice trip back to base. Also, as a bonus, we know there's water that we can get there, so we can make ourselves a place to fall to make our descent faster here. I'm gonna go grab a bucket of water from the dojo. That should work perfectly. Yeah, we're gonna need more torches. That is on the short list of things that we need more of here. And inventory space, but that's a... That's a... Cons just, a just a constant thing we need to worry about. But more torches. Okay. Here's the stuff from... Typically in the backpack. So that's what we can just clear out the entire backpack. I guess we could have put stuff in the shulker box. Power six bow. That's okay. Nothing super impressive. Alright. We got coal. We got wood. There we go. Cobblestone. Okay, everything is mending up very nicely. Very good to get. I mean, we could probably survive the fall even without the water. It's just nice to have. Yeah, I, th I think the I think the snowmen aggro aggroing all the creepers. It's probably a net loss for us, so it's just gonna blow up everything, get rid of our torches. Generally not what I want, really. Thank you for the water. All right, so technically we have two different directions we could go. We could go off to the side there at the dojo, or we can continue up here on the main path. I think we'll just head up this way. Just run along the upper walls here for a little bit. Things are definitely spawning up here. You just saw that. Oh, that's a big room. Wow. We're gonna need even more torches. This looks like the this looks like the main event right here. Big giant lapis something. behind this pillar. Take care of him. Yeah, look at this. Also goes high. I'm not sure what's up there. Also, it might be nighttime. So I will take that into consideration. Let's see if that's the only large room down here. That definitely looks like a important location. Right, this way goes to... Broken Town. Hello, Raging Weather Skeleton 3. How you doing? Interesting. So we got a large room. We got some broken stuff. We got things spawning in the ceiling. Why 
fun. fun here. Surely that means that the spawner is somewhere nearby. Oh, there's more in, there was more in there. Okay. This was a cluster of eight spawners right here. Wow. Okay. That solves that mystery. That's a plus. I think that was just the one that was behind the two large wood. Don't know if that's close enough to be the problem with spawns over here, though. So. That's something to keep in mind. Okay. Being able to actually see things spawn was really beneficial there. We actually figure things out with more certainty. What is this place? Oh wow. A giant mess is what it is. A giant mess where you can't put any torches anywhere. Dog spawner. Spider spawner. Going spawner. Okay. Just uh, just a treasure room maybe. Oh, things are falling from the ceiling. Should've known things were not gonna be that easy. And everything's melting. It's also great. Head up here. Oh, oh. oh. oh wow. It keeps going up. It keeps going up, and it keeps on breaking all the torches because it's made of ice. I'm incredibly annoying. I need to like shelter the torches somehow. Pretty awkward. Pretty awkward indeed. Oh, I don't like this waterfalls. Water, we can't jump as well. Ah! This is very hostile for lighting things up. On the plus side, a whole bunch of drinkable water here, I guess. It's not, it's not very large of a plus side, but I guess we'll take it, what we can get. Just gotta make sure there's nothing weird up here. Now there just seems to be a whole bunch of... Annoying ice. Making waterfalls. And there was, there was some things that spawned, so... Not here, though. Alright. Try to stop some of the water. Please stop. 
and stop being how you are. One is falling down. Kinda. Zombie three. Quite the mess we've made here. Still think there's spawn is in here though. Melted. It wouldn't be as bad if it actually just all melted at once. But the staggered melting is also making this really annoying. I should stop putting torches on it. That'd probably help. Had enough of playing with the water. So I'm going to go down here. Try to figure out what we got in these chests. Ah, it's really loud with all the water falling. That's great. Ah, it's just a random chest. That's fine. Animal justice. Oh, you got a diamond shovel in here. Oh, it's, this is harsh, harsh sermon again. Smite, knockback, fire aspect, unbreaking, power bow, common arm boots. That's at least slightly different than what you normally see. Oh, that's something. Random loot chest. A silk touch axe. Cool. That'd make it easier to get the ice if we had got this first. And remember that we found it. Efficiency axe. This one has a block of gold. Generic block of gold in it. Let's turn on. Oh, this could have helped. We could turn on night vision. I'm mean, gonna see everything in here. Even though it's a giant mess. And a random loot chest with a protection to Okay. Okay. So that place is a, a giant loot chest. Essentially. Put some loot into this chest. It would be nice if there was a little bit more variety here, again. Maybe some blocks. Maybe some food. Just pretty much anything, really. It looks like, since we already found the dojo, I'm pretty confident in saying that this is just the this is just a loot section. That's okay. A little bit more. Then we can head back to base. Random loot. Okay. There's still a couple chests in here. You can hear me over the waterfalls. Hi, <laughs> Spider. Hi, Spider. Out of here. Okay. So that looks like everything except for that huge room. Found the way that goes to the dojo. The way that goes to a treasure 
trove. I mean, that goes to presumably the rest of the dungeon. And we're using iron doors because zombies and stuff can break down wooden doors. These are not exactly in the safest locations. So. A little inconvenient, but it's better than having all the zombies in my base. So. I'll take it. Okay. Yeah, Riff. Empty there. Shulker box. We probably need more torches again. And more blocks. I'll take diorite. That's a block. Apparently have a whole bunch of die, right? So. That'll work. Alright. Need some wood. We need some torches. That's not what I want to press. Big old stack of torches. And as far as coal goes, we have this coal here. And then a few more here. Seems okay. Okay. And down we go. grab the rest of the treasure over here. It's in a really awkward place to try to just break the chests because everything would just fly all over the place and into the water and get swept away by the water currents and generally that's not a great plan so I'm just going to just take all the things manually. Besides that, is there anything else interesting here? Some, oh, a legendary leather armor. Interesting. An epic battle axe. Hmm. It's got a few more interesting things than the typical random loot chests having them, but nothing Super crazy. Yeah, let's turn on that just to make sure we have all the chests in here. There's a squid. Oh, squid. I didn't see any chests up above, so I think we're okay. That's just a light source. Yep, yeah, that looks good. I think I'm going to wall up the end of this tunnel. Just so nothing crazy gets inside. Just like that. So we're going to be heading into that crazy room over there. Full of monsters and nonsense. Next time. Goodbye.